started in Maine in 2011, I was making an investment for a return. I wish that I had known how prolific this business was going to be. I wish I had known how much impact positively we were going to have on people's lives. And I would have done things much more expeditiously. I would have wasted less time and I would have covered a lot more ground. But I think the early mover advantage served us well. I just wish I took a little bit more advantage of that time. Going public was a very big step for us. It had given us the bandwidth, the balance sheet, to really focus our efforts, not only on building our business, but giving back to the community. Being an entrepreneur and fighting for every dollar, uh, money was hard to find. But when we were able to access the public markets and have access to the capital today to have a billion dollar balance sheet, our goal now is not only to create a wonderful enterprise, create a lot of profitability for our investors, but also go back into our communities, give back to our communities, and really serve the people that have been harmed by cannabis historically. It's a great privilege and a great joy to be involved with cannabis, um, but it is a heartache to see that people are still incarcerated uh, because of cannabis. For us, we see it changing. We want to have an impact on that change and from our vantage point, no greater joy. When I first got involved with cannabis, I didn't have a true understanding of the medicinal value of the plant. Having learned over the years how powerful this plant can be in the lives of veterans, in the lives of epileptic children, in the lives of folks suffering from cancer and other ailments, we want to take and make that plant more predictable, more doseable, cleaner for the effect on these folks. And from our vantage point, we couldn't be more proud to be in the position that we are in. We aren't about hands out, we're about hands up. So we're taking a portion of our balance sheet to go out and empower others to enjoy the same success we enjoy in this business. This is a monster business, the fastest growing industry in the United States. And today, whether it's 350, 400 billion, there is so much to go around. It's not a zero sum game. We have virtually no competitors. We're all in this business together to help each other help ourselves. And it's the one plus one equals four or five. This is not a zero sum game. We couldn't be more proud to be leading that charge. And we're gonna do a lot more of it in the very near term. We haven't done enough historically and now we're going to overstate on the positive as it relates to giving back. The best advice I had ever received was be as confident as you can and do it with a lot of humility. Make no mistake about it. I believe that I've had some degree of success in my life. I've been very, very blessed in my life with some wonderful parents and a wonderful family. But make no mistake about it. I would not be here where I am today if it not, wasn't for other partners, people helping me. And good partnership leads to good economics, which leads to a much better footprint, a much stronger organization, and candidly, from our vantage point, a much better public company. I wanted to be a professional football player. And in fact, uh, when others told me I wouldn't uh, play because I was too short and too slow. Uh, I guess another lesson learned was the fact that I didn't believe them. And it's taught me a very valuable lesson uh, to really instill in others. And that is, don't let anyone ever convince you that there's uh, something that you cannot do. You can do anything that you put your mind to. And make no mistake about it, I had a football coach that told me, you know what? You're too slow and you're too short. Well, the good news is I got paid to play football. So I realized that dream. And now my dream is to be a public servant, to chair a public company and take the resources that we have, serve our shareholders and serve the community around us to make this not only the most exciting economic uh, venture of our lives and our careers, but also have more impact on people's lives than any other public company 
in the United States and beyond. So couldn't be more pleased, more proud of the people we have in our organization, and we couldn't be more pleased with the work that we're doing outside of the walls of our organization.